So recently, um, the borders have been opened. Um, re most recently, it's been New South New South Wales and Queensland borders. Um, but eventually, it'll include other states as well. Um, you know, I, so that you know everyone's able to travel between states without needing to go through quarantine or um, or any anything else. Uh, so it's really important the borders opening because it's getting towards Christmas. It's a peak season when people want to travel to be with other family members. Um, we've got family in other states who are just dying to travel um, to catch up with their family. So, um, so the the aspect of you know opening borders is really important. Um, one of the first articles of opening borders um, included SeaWorld actually banning a politician from entering their theme park because they were against opening the borders between Queensland and New South, New South Wales. So that was like one of the first reports that I noticed that, that you know, included the issue of opening the borders. Um, before that, it was allowing people to travel via plane or any other use of public transport or by car in between states um, but then it picked up on the issue of opening borders so people could freely travel in between states so um, so that SeaWorld issue was an article for a couple of days and then slowly, you know, uh, uh, the borders began opening. So, um, so we're hoping to have our family here by Christmas. And I know a lot of other families are hoping to have family gatherings at Christmas, um, have people who are important in their lives to meet with them so they can celebrate together so I think a lot of people you know are generally just dying to travel um, a lot of people love to travel in general um, they love to do it just for fun they love to do it for business purposes they love to do it just to meet catch up with their friends and family so a lot of people love to travel so it's really positive that you know um, all these restrictions are being lifted. Um, people are to continue th their activities as normal because when people aren't allowed to do that freely, they grow they grow um very uh, spiteful and they don't like it at all. Um, they they like to do whatever they like. They don't like to feel like they have to be caged inside. You know their house or apartment um, and not be allowed to do whatever they like you know people hate that in general so um, so it's really good news that this this should be happening um, because like I said you know with Christmas everyone loves to celebrate Christmas getting together and and being with family and people they haven't seen for a while so um, that would be really good. Um, but saying that um, COVID has not stopped um, exactly. It's just the fact that things are beginning to feel more normal. That is sort of disguising the fact that COVID ever existed. Um, even on the trains, um, a lot of people catch the trains now. So it's like the car parks are full, the carriages have people, um, and it feels a lot better to travel, but it hasn't been declared, um, the world hasn't been declared corona-free. As far as I know, there is still no vaccine, but because people are commu commuting and the world seems to be getting back to normal, um, 
a lot of people are able to forget about the the COVID crisis and just feel normal again. But saying that, you know, it hasn't actually disappeared. It hasn't been declared that Corona is not is not in, in existence it hasn't been declared a vaccine um a lot of things haven't been declared but because the world is functioning again um everyone just assumes that they can get back to their normal life um and without um the news picking up on the subject you know everyone's going to just not worry about it so that's the thing that i've noticed it hasn't been declared that corona is curable. It hasn't been declared that corona is gone and will never come back. Um, it hasn't been declared there's a definite vaccine. Um, and all these things haven't been actually declared, but um, the world's functioning. People are moving to and fro. So it feels a lot better. But you just think... Well, if people hadn't stopped going outside, would anyone have noticed the corona issue? Um, uh, a lot of people would say, oh, well, that's why people are indoors, to make sure that it's not spread. But, I mean, it needed the world to stop to announce that it was an issue. Because when it wasn't, when the world wasn't forced to stop, everyone was pretty much going to ignore the news ignore the issue that was outlined on the news i mean it, one of the early articles said oh some some place in new south wales a small country town had uh, some sort of um outbreak and everyone needed to stay inside and they bought a lot of toilet paper i mean that was one of the first articles that came through the news and it's like if the world hadn't stopped uh, would people have noticed corona and you just think i don't think so i mean even now like it hasn't been dec declared that corona is curable or anything and um but even now with everyone everyone going to and fro and the world functioning again it's like um, you can just uh, forget about Corona, so it's not on the top of anyone's worries because the world does feel normal, but it hasn't gone away. So that's what you do notice, it hasn't gone away, definitely. Um, it's just been pushed aside because the world feels good good and normal again it's, it's like and i think that's the way it would have been if the government hadn't stopped the stores from selling goods if the government hadn't you know enforced legislation upon stores to ensure that they meet a uh, higher hygiene standard etc so um, i feel like you know the way the world is now where it's not been declared corona free, but it's the way the world is moving. If it had continued to move earlier on, I don't think anyone would have noticed corona, actually. So they wouldn't have um, they wouldn't have noticed it. They wouldn't have thought about it. That they wouldn't have grown distressed. It would have just been for like a news, a silly news story that's come and gone. You know, but because of the big respondents for, by the government and the stores, it, it made people pay, pay attention and respond with worry and and everything. So, but yeah. So even though it hasn't gone away, it's really good people can actually get to the daily activities once more. Because I know um, everyone just hates to sit indoors doing nothing. You think everyone's like um, just a load of TV watches, but that's not true at all. A lot of people like to be quite active as well. And um, they don't like to just sit around and watch TV. They like to go out all the time. 
so it's really good that it's come to the point where the world feels a little bit no more more normal and it's really good that people are able to visit their relatives but it's still not over it just feels like it is 